Hello Cancer and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing good Cancer. This is a big, big month astrologically and eclipse season is here. So be extra nice to yourself. You know, it's definitely normal that we feel up and down and there's so much happening. So yeah, I just wanted to send my love and good energy away and thank you again for being here cancer let's see what is the general energy of this bonus reading for you make sure to like and to subscribe thank you so much for the support cancer so many new cancerians on the channel i'm very happy about that okay Answer. Okay, <clears throat> so it kind of makes sense that I felt called to uh, send you extra love for the eclipse and for this month. The hangman is your general energy. So I personally learn over the years to enjoy this energy, to work with the energy of the hangman. There's something very unique about this card. I always felt like this person chose to be in that position and maybe they look like it's uncomfortable, maybe they look a little crazy, uh, but they're learning a lot about themselves. So what I feel with the hangman is a period of time where we feel like nothing is happening really. We feel like we're waiting on something and we're doing our best to navigate uncertainty, to show up for ourselves and just be extra kind to ourselves, but there's a lot of uncomfortable energy when we are hanging out in the unknown. And this is what the hangman is about. You know, it's a it's connected to the planet Neptune, Pisces energy. It's like we are hanging out in the unknown. Sometimes we could experience a lot of intense feelings and we don't know why. We don't know why we feel that way. There's no why, really. That's the thing. I think that when we are in this energy, there's no answer. It's really about learning to just be. And this is also a card of transformation. I feel like every time I see the hangman, I think about the cocoon, you know, the butterfly transforming in the cocoon. And the butterfly, when it's ready to go, when it's coming out of the cocoon, its wings are wet. So you cannot just fly away. There's this period of adaptation, and I think that this is what the hangman means. This also can be a card of ending, since it's connected to the Pisces energy, the last sign of the zodiac. There's a lot. There's a lot happening. A lot of releasing and the expectation of a new beginning. So honestly, I could talk about this card for hours. There's so much, many, many layers to it. But let's see what the tarot has to say. Five of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So this is it. Your nervous system, your ego, your brain, your mind is sensing that a new beginning is very close. I think that intuitively you could be feeling that change is about to happen. But again, we are hanging out in the unknown. We don't know what this change is going to be. We have to accept that uncertainty is part of life. But definitely, yeah, there's a new beginning about to happen. And I think it's going to happen a lot sooner than you expected, Cancer. With the Queen of Pentacles here... Such a beautiful ally, <laughs> you know, being in the hangman energy. It's like Queen of Pentacles is the ultimate card of self-care. What helps you feel grounded? How are you nurturing yourself? How are you taking care of your body and making sure that you are grounded? Because again, this Neptunian energy is very unpredictable, can be scary, can be like a roller coaster. And the Queen of Pentacles is like, okay, well, what do you have control over? How do you take care of yourself? 
How do you make sure that you are grounded during that very uncertain time? During, I don't know if this is a stressful time for you. If again, there's a lot of heavy feelings coming up to the surface. I think the Queen of Pentacles is going to be a great ally for you in the next couple weeks. Depending on what this card means for you. Uh, but again, I think this is a card of self-care. And self-care doesn't have to be fancy or glamorous. It doesn't have to cost anything. It's really about being aware. What does my body want? How am I feeling today? Okay, I'm not feeling good. So what can I do? What do I have control over? I could go for a walk. I can drink more water. I could call a friend and just complain. Whatever it is that will make you feel good. I think that um, the little things that you do are going to have a big impact on your mood. Uh, yeah, that could be a moody, a moody end of April. Um, but you're going to be just fine. Again, I think that your nervous system is, is sensing that something big is about to change. Something huge is about to happen. Yeah, Page of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So this is, again, this is a confirmation that energetically you could be feeling stuck right now. You are very much aware of your potential. You know that you have some specific talent, that you have something to offer, something to share, you are very aware of who you are, and I would even say you are aware of the magic within you, which, Cancerians, I don't think you guys get enough credit for the magical aspect of you, this creation energy. I feel like, again, the two of wands is a confirmation that you could be feeling stuck right now. When I look at the two of wands, I always think about a soup that is simmering. You know, we can smell it. It's almost ready. We cannot wait to enjoy it, but it's not ready. We have to be patient. And this is the energy you're in right now. Like, you want things to move and change. You're like, when am I going to get my new beginning? Um, it's, it's about to happen. And I would even say with the page of wands, it's already initiated. Like the energy is already changing. And with the four of cups, which is a center energy, it's the center card of your reading. So it is at the heart of your reading. This is one of your cards. Um, this is one of the cancer cards in the tarot. Four of cups to me is about learning to say no. Right now, your energy is very precious. Again, I started the reading saying, take exquisite care of yourself, be extra kind to yourself. And I think that being very clear with your boundaries is gonna be necessary in the next couple weeks, um, whenever you watch this reading, really. But Four of Cups says, there are so many things that you have on your plate. There's so much right now that is a little overwhelming, you don't have to say yes to everything. There's going to be maybe offers coming up. There could be some type of invitation. And you know you don't have the energy to say yes. So this is going to be one of the tests. This is going to be one of the ways the universe is testing you uh, in the weeks to come. Are you able to say no? when something is not aligned with the level of energy that you have. It's not easy to say no. It's not easy to be in that energy, hangman energy. It's challenging. It's not negative. It's challenging because we are testing ourselves. We are asked to embody our boundaries. It's very easy to talk about boundaries. Very easy to say, I am so fed up of this person. Always ask me for this and that. I don't want that to happen. Next time I will say no. Next time I will be assertive and I will. It's so easy. But when it actually happens, it's so, you know, we, we all have, I think, a hard time saying no. 
and this is at the heart of the reading for you. So whatever that means for you, Cancer, you're going to have to be extra careful. The little energy you have, how are you going to spend it? And it's not because you say no to something that is going to pass you by. I think that it's going to make space for the good stuff to show up. If you are able to discern, okay, this, I cannot say yes to that. It just, it does not work. I cannot show up for you because my energy is low right now. So I want to make sure that my priorities are clear. Okay. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Definitely, it feels like the universe or your guides are screaming at you, Cancer, slow down. Slow down. I think that especially this month with everything that's happening, you know, the Mercury retrograde, the eclipse, new moon in Aries, all of that. It's like we are called to slow down, even if we don't want to, even if we feel like we don't have time to slow down. We're going to have to find ways to refocus the energy on us. What does my body want? You know, what does my sis nervous system want? If you use tarot, you know, as a tool for your spiritual practice or even self-care, literally ask your deck, what does my body want? Is there a message from my brain? Is there a message from my body? This is something I do all the time. And every time I teach tarot, I always tell people to do that. Ask simple questions to your tarot card. What does my body need right now? And I can guarantee you this is going to help you build a deeper connection with your cards and also be more aware of, uh, you know, what's coming up around that. Look at that. Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Again, uh, your guides are screaming at you. You need to slow down and you need to stop judging yourself for how slow things are moving. It's not because you are not accomplishing major, major things right now that nothing is happening. Trust me. The universe is at work for you. And there is a lot of beauty right now in learning to slow down, enjoy the process, and really check in with our bodies. Uh, I think this is definitely something important that's coming up for you. And look at that. The moment you are able to slow down and accept that things are not moving as fast as, as they usually do, there's this beautiful sun energy that's coming up. And I'm going to pick more cards, of course. I want to clarify this whole reading. I want to know what the sun is about for you here. But very interesting. Notice there are three horses on that row. And horses are a symbol that connects to the body. So is there some things that you've been ignoring? Or are there things about your body that you've been more aware of? changing some type of habits, you know, the little change, the little things are going to add up and create big, big changes. And it doesn't have to just be about your physical body, like your appearance. It could be, again, the brain, the organs, your relationship with movement. Also, I really feel like you are Finding ways to keep your mind and your heart very clear. And again, it starts with you saying no to everything that does not feel aligned with you right now. Okay, I'm going to take the Hermetic Tarot and I want to I wanna know more about this. Again, this is a challenging time energetically. But a lot of the challenge is mental. It's how your brain perceive it. There's going to be a lot of moments where you're like, I don't understand why I feel that way. A lot of up and down with your mood also. That's not permanent. 
that is not permanent. And again, it's going to feel like the universe is testing you, testing your patience, testing your awareness. And, you know, that can suck. But you're going to learn so much about yourself. It's no coincidence that the hangman is the general energy. Sun was the last card of this pool. And look around the hangman's head. He looks stuck, but he is finding ways to be still, to slow down, to pause. And still he's learning so much about himself. Finding ways to have a more a clearer mind. And I think this is going to be very beneficial for you. Again, the small steps, small change, they're very important. Don't do anything too drastic and don't be too hard on yourself if you have some bad days, a bad week, you know, you don't keep up with your health habits, you don't, you don't do the right thing. Don't be hard on yourself. Let it go. Eight of Pentacles, again, the little things showing up every day is going to be very beneficial. I think that through the small steps, you are transforming. And never forget that so much is happening, that the universe is at work for you. We have the Magician and we have the Five of Cups in the reverse. I like that. Very happy to see two fives in the reverse in your reading. So again, yeah, there could be challenges, but it's nothing permanent. There's going to be moments where you think about the day before and like, why was I feeling so weird? And I feel so good today. That was in my head. That was my mood. This thing that I thought was real wasn't my truth. I think that it's very important that you give yourself the opportunity to reflect. To not act right away over feelings. Because remember, Cancer... The most intense feelings are not necessarily the truth. When we get very angry or very activated or sometimes it's not necessarily the feelings we want to act on. So how can we pause? How can we breathe and slow down? So the magician is a confirmation that, yeah, there's a new beginning about to happen. That even on the moments where you feel like you have no control... You do. You have a lot a lot more control than you think you do. Everything you say is impactful. How you show up, especially when you're having a bad day. How do you choose to show up? You know, are you going to be in a mood with everyone you encounter? Or are you going to put a smile on your face and be kind to stranger? Don't underestimate your power. You know, if you go grab a coffee in a cafe, be kind, smile, and try to enjoy the little things. That's just an example, but I really feel like if you focus on the things you have control over, everything is going to go so smooth. And the magician is just a confirmation that um, you are about to enter a new season of your life. And it feels like it's kind of, it's it's a summer season, let's say. Um, so right now, I think that everything is transforming. There could be a lot of people in your life that you don't feel aligned with anymore. Like relationships that used to be so great. And now you're like, I don't know. I don't feel so connected. I don't feel so comfortable. Yeah, because you're transforming. There's going to be a huge period of adaptation, of adjustment, and that's what I'm seeing here. It's not permanent. It's a period of adaptation. So how can you make the best out of this period of adjustment? Let's pick three cards. How can Cancer make the best out of this period of adaptation? One... Okay, I saw the Justice card. Be mindful of the things that you say. I think that this is going to be a time where it's very easy 
to say something that you don't necessarily mean. So, okay, I'm pissed. Let's say I'm pissed right now. Am I going to regret saying this thing to this person? Okay, maybe, maybe I'll come back tomorrow to this energy. You receive an email, you're like, okay, I have to write back. Maybe pause and if that's possible, get back to the person on the next day. Again, give yourself permission to slow down and don't feel bad about it. Don't apologize for it. You're choosing yourself. You're saying yes to yourself. And to do that, sometimes we have to say no. We have to make other people wait. And even if they're pissed, it's not really your problem how they receive your energy. Five of Swords is in the reverse again. So definitely this is an important energy. We have the Five of Swords two times. Five, five, five. You know I love repetitive numbers. There could definitely be something about the number five showing up. To me personally, five, five, five as an angel number is to help us remember that the difficulties, the challenges are not permanent. So it makes total sense. Five of Swords in a reverse to me is um, usually a message that says you didn't do anything wrong. If someone made you feel like you were the problem, if someone makes you feel bad for choosing yourself, for moving slow or being unavailable, it's not yours to hold. So that's very important here. You're not doing anything wrong. You are protecting your energy. And again, you are, and I know it sounds cheesy, but I, I still have to say it. You are, again, the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Wings are wet, but they are about to, to be ready. You're about to be ready. Okay, we have the king of swords and the ten of wands. So you see, Ten of Wands is exactly what I said. Other people's perspective of you is not yours to hold. If you know that your decisions come from your truth, if you know that what you choose to say yes to, say no to, is really coming from a place of self-respect, Honoring, again, your truth. Honoring this slow change, slow moving energy. Uh, how other react is none of your business. It's not yours to hold. So if you have, you know, a little conversation that's heated or someone triggers you and you're like, ah, I'm pissed off. I just want to tell them like something. I, I need to say something. I need to do this and that. Again, pause. Sleep it off and ask yourself, is this worth a fight? Is this worth an argument? Do I have the energy for that? And is this mine to hold? How this person feels about me, is, is it mine to hold? I think that as long as you are aware of your intentions and you're not trying to hurt yourself or, ever, or people around you, good. Be assertive and be clear. Don't tiptoe. Definitely, this is a time where, you know, if you have relationships in your life where you walk on eggshells, you're going to get triggered very easily. So, I'm sorry, I'm not available this week. That's it. We're going to pick some moon cards, Cancer. I think that, again, this is a challenging reading. And challenging doesn't mean negative. Challenging means that there is potential for growth, potential to really embrace this change. And don't forget that there's the sun and the magician here at the end of this month for you. I really feel like this is about April for you. Um, the month will end beautifully. Your mind is going to be clear. Your heart is going to feel lighter. And... You're going to be very proud of yourself for taking your time, being assertive, being honest and clear. And again, pause, slow down. 
I invite you to find little moments to rest. Especially if this is like very challenging right now. Like if you are working a lot and you don't have time to rest, you don't have time to take days off, find those little moments. Even if it's just five minutes to go get your vitamin D outside. All the little things you do for yourself will add up and create this big, big change. A time for healing. Yeah, this is it. A lot is coming up to the surface. We have to deal with all the freaking feelings. You know, the eclipse and the retrograde, it brings up a lot of drama and a lot of trauma also from our past. There's going to be moments where you're asking yourself, why am I still thinking about this? I thought I healed this thing. I thought I was over it. Um... This is what the astrology of this month does. It's like a lot of stuff coming up to the surface. It's not necessarily our truth. And we are going to feel tested. Can we breathe? Can we let go? And again, find little moments. You know, maybe your spiritual practice. Again, picking cards, asking your body what it needs. Moving your body in a certain way, more vitamin D, more sleep, whatever it is for you. Trust me, it's going to make a huge difference. And we have prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, that's it. You know, Taurus season is like two days away as I'm recording this. And this is the Taurus energy. It's, it's going to feel different. It's going to feel different and it's going to be a lot easier to embrace the slow moving energy, slow change. Taurus is uh, an earth sign. It's a lot slower. It's very careful, pragmatic. And this is definitely a confirmation that change is on the way and that the end of the month bring prosperity, change, abundance, Um Again, the sun is going to be shining for you at the end of the month. And you're going to be very happy that a new season is here. And that, again, you took time to take care of yourself, which is the biggest advice of this reading. So thank you so much for being here, Cancer. You know you can join me on Patreon if you want some extra soul medicine. I do uh, mystery readings every Saturday morning. And I teach tarot there. So there's so many lessons uh, waiting for you there. You know, if you want to subscribe just for a month and do all the lessons, you're welcome to. I hope to see you there. So take care of yourself and I will see you next week for your May tarot reading. Bye, Cancer.